Hi, I'm Sam Armani, Vice President of Business Development at Memec. Today, I'm going to give you an overview of Memec, the technology we will provide, and the problem that we're solving. To start, let's talk about the status of cloud today. Central cloud is facing several challenges. First and foremost is the cloud hosting cost. As you may have seen on the news, Lyft announced that they have to pay 8 million US dollars per month for Amazon's hosting cost. Snapchat in 2017 committed to spending 1 billion US dollars worth of Amazon's cloud hosting services plus 2 billion dollars for Google's cloud services in five years. So when we're launching an application, if we're successful with it, with a lot of users, it almost becomes unaffordable with the amount of money and expense that we have to pay for hosting the application. The other issue is the communications latency. Today, when two applications want to communicate, the communication has to go through a central server up and back down, even if the two devices are sitting next to each other. The other issue is the data privacy. So if you want to share a data or a content with someone today, you have no choice but to trust a third-party cloud provider to put your data on their servers, and that makes your data more prone to privacy issues. The other one is the vendor lock-ins. So when you're developing an application, you have to pick which vendor you want to use for the hosting services and your application in general becomes locked into that vendor. And all these challenges are increasing with the data tsunami that is coming. It's estimated that by 2020, which is just around the corner, there will be 200 billion connected devices. Each connected person, like you and I, will generate on average 1.7 megabytes per second of data. These are large numbers. So the question becomes, what will be the cost of real estate, infrastructure, and energy to support all this data? Is it going to be a thousand times more? Does it mean that we have to build a thousand times more data centers? Let's look at the classic client-server communication. Today, when you're launching an application on a device, your application server resides on a central server, which essentially contains of an API gateway on some microservices, which communicate back with the client application through HTTPS requests. So every application request and response has to go through a central server, which may be miles away. Now, when two devices want to communicate with each other, the situation is even worse. The client application on device one sends a request to the API gateway on the server that has the information of device two, and it sends a push notification to device two saying that device one wants to send you something. Device two says, okay, I'm ready, and then it receives the information. So as you can imagine, if two devices want to talk, even if they're in the same room, there are several back and forths with the servers in the back end in order for that to happen. So why edge cloud? To start, let's define what we mean by edge cloud versus central cloud. Today, there's a lot of talk around edge. Edge has become a buzzword. I just came back from Mobile World Congress, and there was a lot of talk around edge computing, edge servers, edge nodes, edge devices. So let's explain what we mean by edge device. Edge device is the farthest point of communication and the closest to the consumer. So your mobile device, laptop, PC, set-top box, connected TV, your car infotainment system, all of these are considered as edge device. And in a cloud, in an edge cloud model, these edge devices are not only client, but also can act as servers. Where in the central cloud model, application servers are always in the data center, and the computing devices on the edge can only act as clients. And that's the main difference between central cloud and edge cloud. Now, what if every device is a cloud resource? Edge devices have CPU, memory, storage, and connectivity. These are the same resources that a server in a data center has. 
of course, in a bigger scale. So why can't an edge device essentially be a server for few other devices? And with Moore's law, the computing power is increasing exponentially, which means the edge devices are becoming more and more powerful. So why not harness the power of these edge devices to create a large edge cloud? So why edge cloud? The answer is very clear. Number one, it scales naturally. The more edge devices you have, the more servers you have. Where in today's model, the more edge devices you have, the more servers you need to add in the data center. It's faster because now these edge devices that are acting as servers can directly communicate with each other and the communication path is much shorter and faster. It's cheaper because not all the communication needs to go through a central server and back down, so you're saving money on bandwidth and hosting. And it's more open simply because your device becomes a server. You're not, you don't have to be tied to a specific operating system or connectivity or a device hub in order for your device to be able to act as a server. And it provides better data privacy because in many scenarios, your data doesn't even need to leave your device in order to be shared with others. You can simply provide access to other devices to directly access the data from your device. So as a result, Edge Cloud can grow to be orders of magnitude larger than the central cloud today. So what's Mimic's Edge Cloud solution? At Mimic, we've developed a technology that helps us to work together to build the next cloud infrastructure. Our technology enables any computing device to act as a server. And as a result, these devices can communicate with each other directly at the application layer. And as a result, the edge cloud can be larger, cheaper, faster, with better data privacy. How it works, we have a SDK that we call it Edge SDK, and it's available on GitHub. You can download it to most computing devices and is available for most operating systems. Once the developer downloads the SDK, it creates the cloud environment right on the device for the developer to develop their microservices and application. Then it enables the application to directly communicate across devices and enables devices to form clusters to share resources. And of course, we have a powerful backend for global management of these devices, authentication, and security. Now, remember the picture I showed you on the classic client-server communication? This is the same picture, but with Mimic technology involved. In this scenario, API gateway and microservices reside on the edge device and closer to our client application demand. There is a still API gateway and microservices on the server side, but those are in charge of global functions and the rest can be handled by the edge node. When two devices want to communicate, Mimic's technology forms a fabric of cloud between these devices where they can discover each other, connect and communicate directly at the microservice and application level. What are the benefits? So by enabling any computing device to act as a server, you are improving privacy and security by keeping sensitive data right locally on the device and eliminating the need to go through a middleman or a central server for every single transaction. You're reducing hosting and bandwidth cost by leveraging the local edge servers rather than only servers that are in the data center. You're improving performance by enabling edge servers that are closer to the users and providing direct peer-to-peer -peer communication amongst them. You're speeding up time to market for the app developer simply because we're providing them with familiar APIs, development framework, languages, and compatibility with container and orchestration tools such as Kubernetes that is out there for the rapid application development. We're providing consent-based provisioning, which empowers users to be more in control of their data. And as a result, we're providing better user experience. 
and we're reducing latency through localized peer-to-peer -peer communication between devices, microservices, and clusters at the edge. So how about the enterprise? The interesting thing is that today, 80% of enterprises are just about to start their cloud journey and are about to unlock the real business value and growth. The good news is that Mimic can take the enterprises directly to the edge cloud. It doesn't require them to move from private cloud to a public or hybrid cloud in order to benefit and leverage the edge cloud. No, they can directly benefit and leverage the edge cloud using our technology. Edge SDK enabled applications support all enterprise cloud deployment models. And as a result, enterprises avoid cloud hosting vendor lock-ins, they can reduce their hosting costs with better performance, and on top of that, they can add unused computing resources to their clouds. So what are the use cases? Let me make it simple. Every cloud use case today can benefit from Edge Cloud. Of course, there are low-hanging opportunities, less, such as in gaming, because of the hyper-local communication between multiple users and their sensitivity to the cost of hosting and large data, or health and wellness because of the data privacy and also cost, and all these other verticals, such as automotive, retail, smart city, Internet of Things, they all can benefit from Edge Cloud. And that wraps up my overview for today. Thank you very much for your time. Make sure to go to developer.mimic.com to download Mimic Edge SDK today. And let's mimic the cloud to the edge. Thank you.